Hello everybody, this is Mateo311 and I am back with some tech tips. I'm going to talk about something that actually kept me up at night a couple times, which is how to fix twitch.tv lag. This is not going to be for the streamers, this is just for the viewers. I'm going to have a separate video on what streamers can do to help performance and everything. But I'm going to get right into it, I don't want to bore people. I'm just going to put out some of the best fixes I've found. Hopefully you guys could try them, let me know how your results are. So I'm just going to try and lay out the fixes really fast, not get into the technical stuff. If you're interested, I'll mention the technical stuff at the end of the video, but I just want to get right into this. Okay, so the first thing you guys want to try is a DNS flush. Simple command, you're going to go down the command prompt, you're going to type in ipconfig slash flush DNS. This is going to clear some stuff out. You're going to close your browser, reopen it, go back to Twitch. So if you were trying to view a channel that wouldn't load, or if a channel was really laggy, this may help resolve the issue. The second thing you guys should try doing is instead of going to twitch.tv, uh, try a site like en.twitch.tv. This is going to bring you to different servers. That might resolve the issue depending on where you are. So you're just going to try a different language based site for Twitch. I'll put some links for that. And finally is a Chrome and Firefox extension that you can add in called Ghostery. Now I'm just going to go to the technical stuff of how all of this works. Basically the flushing DNS. Uh, DNS servers translate a website name into the IP address. If you have bad DNS information, you get to the wrong spot. Or if they're having a load balancing issue with twitch.tv refreshing your DNS might get you to a better server so that's how that one works uh, doing the en.twitch.tv or a different language .twitch.tv again it's just trying it's the hopes of pointing you to a different server where you get a better connection that's all that is and finally ghostery how this works is a lot of people are saying that when you are on twitch.tv there's a lot of analyzing stuff going on in the background they're basically collecting information and this is what is lagging this is what's causing the information uh, the overall lag because a lot of people online say oh well I have a hundred megabit download speed or I have 50 and I have all this obviously it's much more than you need to watch a stream why are you lagging so you know that it's an issue on their side so a lot of people are saying it's this stuff running in the this background. This this analytical data collection that's not running properly, and because that's lagging, it's lagging your stream. So Ghostery is going to block all that stuff from running in the background. Since that is now smooth, your stream comes in smooth. Personally, I have not experimented with these. I've just done research, read, and got feedback from people. You guys try these out. Let me know if they work. I really hope they do because for the streamers like myself who put a lot of time and effort into making sure their content is good, making sure everything they're doing on their side is good, and then the user experience on the other side sucks, it's really, really upsetting. And I'm most likely never going to reach partner where I'll be able to give you the option to adjust how much um, bandwidth, you know, what what screen resolution getting 480 or 720 or 1080 I'm probably never gonna reach partner because it's not easy to reach partner status so for people like me hopefully little fixes like this can get people watching the stream there's also the complication of a lot of the viewers are in Europe so this causes a lot of other overhead and might make it really hard for certain people in Europe to get a good connection but otherwise guys I hope this helps let me know send me some feedback that is it guys good luck and as always guys please make sure to rate comment and subscribe and you could also check me out on gamingwithmateo311.com